I was actually born in Augusta, Georgia. Grew up there. Um, went to a fine arts magnet high school, which was amazing. And uh, from there went to Indiana University, where I actually did all of my degrees. Um, I had uh, the great fortune to get to work both in the modern voice department and the uh, Historical Performance Institute, which at that time was called the Early Music Institute. Um, and while I was there, got to start to discover what a fantastic repertoire the early music repertoire is and work with some really amazing people. Um, that sort of set me on the path of early music, Planted the Bug, and uh, since leaving I've started doing more and more and uh, have found that that's kind of my big love, is, is singing early music. And it's really thanks to the people in that department. And that was a real, um, a really lucky thing, I think. I didn't know going in that that was going to happen. Um, I studied with a few people at Indiana. I um, started with Alan Bennett, uh, which I understand was also Linda's teacher. Uh, we were not there at the same time, but it's still a fun sort of studio reunion, this concert. Alan Bennett was such a fun person to work with because he is such an expert in the Bach repertoire especially. He's one of the really well-known Bach evangelists, and I just thought it was so thrilling to get to work on Bach recitative with him. He understood it so well, and Especially for an undergrad, I'd, I'd never really been exposed to that kind of recit. It was very specific and um, really, really sophisticated writing. And he loves language, so uh, I feel like he was the first person to really start to instill that love in me. And I remember so many lessons uh, where he sort of harp on me to really get the meaning of this word or that word across and wouldn't stop asking me to do it until it, it really came across the way it should. And that was, uh, was so much fun. <laughs> I think I started wanting to be a singer before I really knew that I wanted to be. Um, my parents were actually both classical singers. They went to North Texas, uh, North Texas State, it was then, now it's the University of North Texas. Um, and they met there, fell in love, and had me, like, singer 2.0. And uh, so I heard classical music growing up, um, and of course for a while that meant that I totally wanted to do anything else and wanted to like be a marine biologist or <laughs> some crazy things. Um, and I remember um, some friend of mine said that she was going to music school and it was like this little light went off and I thought, oh, I'm really jealous, I wonder what that means. And it was just sort of downhill from there, <laughs> as it were. I started swing dancing in college. Um, I had a friend who was really into it. She's from San Antonio. And one of the big swing scenes is in San Antonio. One of the others is here. I didn't know until I moved here. Um, and she got me started, and then I kind of took a break for grad school. Like you do. You don't really do anything other than grad school when you're in grad school. And then I uh, started dancing again maybe three or four years here in Portland. And the scene's amazing. There's some really crazy dancers here, and it's, it's so fun. It's really, really fun. My cat is a black cat, he's a big guy. Um, his name is Farinelli, which is a super dorky singer name. Um, he, Farinelli was a castrato singer uh, in the 17th century. Very famous, very uh, fancy. All the ladies loved him. Um, and when I got my cat, we thought he was a girl, and he had been named by the Humane Society after Farrah Fawcett, who had just died, so his name was Farrah. And I took him to the vet about eight months later for something unrelated, and they called me and they said, oh, well this medical thing you came in for, it's kind of cleared itself up, we think he's gonna be okay. By the way, she's a he, and I thought, oh no, what am I gonna do? And he has this little tiny high voice, so I thought I should probably rename him Farinelli, and it's stuck, and it fits him so well. <laughs> He's a funny guy, very talkative, and he has a tiny little high voice, which I think is very funny, given his name. 